So here it is, all the doors are finally installed. Mike has put our pigs in a trance. They're so sweet. Hey fine fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. Today is part two of our Dutch door install saga here. As you can see behind me, we have the window open of this Dutch door right here. So Trigger actually has swapped to this side for right now because we are working on the other side of the barn today. And as you guys know, Trigger lives on the other side of the barn. Oh, that made me really dizzy. He lives right here. And this is the stall that we're starting with. So him and Louie are on the other side of the barn where we did the two Dutch doors because Louie was so intrigued by the window because Louie's stall is right here and he could directly see across here where there was a window. So he had his head held really high, really concerned why he could see out the window. So we decided that it would be cool for him to be able to look out the window and he is very intrigued by it. He keeps literally stopping from eating his hay to go check out what's out there. So he's a very interesting soul, so I don't know what he thinks about it because obviously he knows what the outside world looks like, but <laughs> you just never know. See, like he literally just stopped, grabbed a bite, and went to go look out. So that's pretty interesting for him. He does love Dinky and Dinky's in the back pasture, so I think it'll be really fun for Dinky to come see him when she eventually does because they love each other. <laughs> Anyways, Trigger's over here. He's already checked out the outside world. Not too enthused by it. <laughs> Mike has put our pigs in a trance. They're so sweet. He's loving on them before some loud noise starts again. So cute. But we are going into today with a pretty good plan. We had a lot of trial and error on the first side of the barn. Now we're hopefully gonna have a better time doing these other ones. I'm really excited though because the airflow is already better, but if we have those on that side, it's just gonna fly right through this barn. It's gonna feel really nice. So I need to quit this intro because we really need to get started working. It is dreadfully hot. We got a late start today, so it's actually 2.30, so it's like the hottest part of the day. But fingers crossed, it goes smooth and it's not gonna be a problem. But if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see us get these Dutch doors in, then make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if I chance to my post notification shout out, are you guys, well, let's get right to working. So first things first, if you guys didn't see the first part of this video, we have to cut the wood out right here. So we're cutting this section because the door is gonna fit right between these two support beams, fingers crossed, because as we've learned, that our barn is not on center in these posts that need to be, so sometimes they're a little bit more narrow. But the goal is to get the door to fit in between these bars, so we have to first cut out this section of wood in our barn. So we're going in with our jigsaw because we did this many times and we tried with the circular saw and also the jigsaw. We are liking using the jigsaw just because it's a lot quieter and it doesn't kill the batteries as fast as our circular saw does. Now that all of our wood is cut, here is exactly where the door is gonna go. So we have to make our cut into the metal again. And we are actually starting from one, two, three, this third panel right here, two and a quarter technically, but we're gonna go two and a half just for some wiggle room. So starting from that top of that panel down two and a half inches, and we'll start our cut there and then cut all the way down to the base. We still left our little lip right here for our stall mattresses because we still want those to be watertight. So that lip is left but all of this will be cut out. And to cut the metal, we're using a sawzall. We started using a grinder at first, but using the grinder causes a lot of spark, and also using the sawzall is a lot faster. Another hole in the barn. So this one's actually facing the road, so yeah, that's exciting. Since there's a hole, June thinks that she's allowed to come in already. <laughs> what are you doing? But our plan with the donkey and the goats to have a place to take cover and there will be no horse in this stall during the day so that this can be the little hideout for the goats and the donkey. They can come in, they can go out. Right now there's just some hay in here because this is where Louie was so of course they all huddled into here. All right, Jane, it's time for you to go. Oh boy, that was not graceful at all. The horse has decided to come over here and make a mess. Gotta clean up this really quickly, make room for this. The horses did this as well. And then now we're gonna put in the door. June, you need to go away. They're not making it easy. They wanna be in here so badly.
like this on its face. Holy crap. This is the same thing that happened last time. I couldn't catch it. So the door is on, we have it screwed in where it needs to be screwed in, so it's looking really good. I'm gonna go into the barn in a minute and show you this thing that we added, but right now, see this right here? So, this is a bit of an overcut, but we have done this on the other ones too. This one's a little bit bigger than the other ones though, I will say, so, but it's not a problem because we are putting trim on here, but right now we're actually calling it a kick plate because we're not really sure if we're gonna trim the whole thing out. I know I said in my last video that we were gonna put trim all around it, but since it does have a frame already attached to the door, we aren't really knowing if it's necessary or not yet. I'm a very visual person, so I have to see what it looks like with the trim as well to fully decide, but if we do do the trim, it will probably just be like a one by six or something like that. But for now, we do wanna put a kick plate here because for one, I need to cover that. But I also, cause you guys can see it's off the ground, I don't want them kicking the barn when they're going in, so we're gonna put a piece of board that's gonna act as a kick plate right here, and it's gonna be a two by six. So it's gonna, in essence, look like a part of the door, but it'll be multi-purpose. It'll cover that, <laughs> and it'll be like a kick plate. But so far, it's looking really good. Once this is done, we have some plans to put more fill in here, because as you guys can see, this has eroded so much because we haven't had grass here. So right here where I'm pointing, that's concrete. That's the under of the barn so we need fill to go all the way up to here and then once we put the kick plate on you're not even going to notice that the door is like technically let's say floating this is just how it has to be for our barn this is what we're using to fill the gaps so we've got the one that's up to three inches the big gap filler because we just want to make sure it covers everything so i'm going to use this foam to put it in there to make it all water tight and then we'll put our kick plate on there so I have it filled in there. I'm not sure exactly how much to put in because it does expand. So I'm not sure if I just wanna leave it there or what. So this door is officially done. We have the kick plate on the bottom. I just got done painting it black. I do need to do a second coat, but this is what it looks like. It's super cute. I'm so excited to do the rest. That's it for this first. This is what I wanted to show you on the inside that we did. We just recycled one of the pieces that we cut off right here and we put it on the bottom so that the edge was really nice. Obviously this is a metal building, so the metal was obviously cut and exposed. So now we added this and it's a perfect fit. It sits in there. We're gonna pop some screws in there so that it's even stronger and it's just sitting in there. It gives the whole thing like a really finished, clean look. And then when the door is closed, it looks really good too. We have officially moved on to number two and uh, Blaze is already in there. The mayor and Binky were in there, but look at Blaze's face, he's like, I like it. He immediately ran in there when the metal came off the barn. So yeah, we finally have two holes. So this is looking really cool. Very interesting. I'm so excited to see how this is gonna look. So right now my kid's picking up the last two. Cause that's all we have left are two more. So excited. He's got a little stuff with him. I think he literally just keeps following the skid steer. Like it has something for her. <laughs> Thank you, there's nothing for you. So just like on triggers, we are using one of our scrap pieces of wood that we cut off. Probably not that one, Mike. And we are going to use it as a bottom, I don't know what we would call it, but just finishing it up to make it look better and so that they can basically stand on it on their way out. So just find the one that fits the best and we will place it there. So we'll see. All right, I think we found a winner. So now he's just gonna screw that in and then we'll be ready and set to put the door in. So this door is 
finally in. Now we're just bolting everything in. Just using bolts that we supplied ourselves just because the doors actually come with wood bolts and since we have a metal building, we just had to pick up our own. So the door is all bolted, so we have another door done. So closes, we can latch it. So now the top, as you guys have seen, closes and then I latch and then I just unlatch it and then I open it. Voila! And that same thing goes with the bottom. Moment of truth, Mike's gonna move his Kubota to reveal. Yay! We have two doors. Oh my gosh. So now you guys can really see how much this like kick plate makes a difference so that it doesn't look like it's so far up. And again, if I haven't said it enough, the reason why they are like six inches off the ground is because inside the stall mattresses are that high. So we have to keep it the same height as inside the barn. And then we can just add these kick plates, which works perfectly so that they're not kicking my barn anyways when they come in. But it's looking so good. I cannot wait for the final one to be put on there. It's really gonna complete the look of this barn. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is like so surreal. It's really coming together. Just one more day. It literally takes us one whole day to do one door. So, so far it's taken us, um, cause we've done a total of four doors so it's taking us four days so it'll be fifth day and all the in-between days of stuff but to successfully put one in completely it takes one whole day so june's like oh this is cool so this is really exciting i'm so excited to finally finish the last one dinky do you love the doors she's like yes all right you guys it's day three i think maybe yeah i guess sure because each of these doors has taken us one day our final day working on this as far as getting the doors in because it's the last door and it's probably a bit hard to hear me you guys because it is raining so it is pretty loud in here and of course the pigs are going and everything but it's time to do the final stall so we're gonna go ahead and get right to it and do the same thing that you guys have seen us do on the last four that we have done So we have our last and final hole cut as June decides that she doesn't want to be out in the rain anymore. Have you had enough of the rain? It's not really where you're supposed to be. All right. She's like, no, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm tired of being soaked out there. Well, we need to clean up all the stuff in here and then we're going to go back to, so we need to clean up all this and then it's time to put the door in. Right, you guys well it's getting really late it's really dark as you can see so this is gonna be probably the last update that I do tonight but here it is in all its glory and we just need to put the kick plates on here finish off the little standing plates inside but tomorrow morning so in a few seconds you guys will see the final reveal of what it looks like and I'm so excited but I wanted to show you really quickly what it looks like hi goaties with all of the doors installed from inside of the barn so you guys know in part one, we did these two. Now here in part two, we've successfully installed all three of these. Mike's just doing a little bit last minute touches on that, but it is pitch black out. It's like about nine o'clock. So we are gonna be finished for the night. And then there will be luckily a part three that we show you the final reveal of everything just cause it takes a lot longer than we thought it would. Jenny, Jenny. What do you think about this? They are all loving it. So it's the next morning and here's what it looks like. I'm so happy with it. Obviously there's the little details that we still need to do, like the kick plates. We still need to install the latches and everything, but that'll be in part three when we finish up everything and I'll show you the final reveal of both sides, but I'm so excited for it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I'm so happy with how it looks. Super exciting that we finally have all the doors and just have the finishing touches. 
which will be in part three. But then after that, the doors will be completely installed and a whole new aspect of the barn has been created. So I'm so excited. Again, I just really wanna thank Ram Horse Fencing and Stalls for helping us be able to get these Dutch doors that we really wanted. But if you guys liked today's video, if you guys liked how the doors turned out, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. All right, you guys, well, I'll see you in the next one.